We had to buy a new monitor. We thought we had to buy a new character generator, but it just turned out to be tired and hot. Is anybody out there watching TV? Answer me, please. Hi, Vesta. This is Jim Dunham calling. Um, return in your call, so if you could call when you get a chance, 758-6171. Hey, Glendora. It's Greg at Charter Communications in Newtown, Connecticut. Um, it's 1120. Uh, unfortunately, the, the four C DVDs you just sent, um, none of them will play or transfer on our equipment, unfortunately. Um, if uh, you'd like to send us a different set um, or... Uh, to send the tapes, uh, that's I would recommend doing that. Um, you can give us a call and let us know what you're going to do, or you can just pop something in the mail, and we'll know when we get them. Anyway, that's it. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye-bye. Two ladies are walking down the street, passing the haberdashery door, and in the window is a sign for sale on church for men with 16 to 18 necks. And one said to the other, there's too many necks for a man to have. Esther now at the Atria in uh, Great Neck. Uh, sends Glendora the program schedule for public access TV, Great Neck. And when is the chat with Glendora scheduled? Thank them for doing this job. Here it is on Fridays at 11.30 p.m. I'm beginning to ask the question, do people watch TV anymore? Maybe it is over. It had a 60-year run. Maybe it is over like radio, like movies, like vaudeville. The Northeast Region of the Alliance for Community Media is accepting entries for the 12th Annual Video Contest. Entries must be submitted by September 4, 2009. For more information, log on to http what? colon slash slash ne dot alliance com dot org. Hi, Glendora. This is Darren. I apologize for today. I just got home from work. Um, give me a call back if you want. Uh, hey, Glendora. This is Walt McConnell. I was trying to get back to you. I got your message. Um, I'll try the other number. Um, and then we can talk about uh, an interview. Um, my cell phone is... Uh, Hi, good evening, Glennie. Joe Cronin from Lindenhurst, New York. Report of 14 August 2009, Anno Domini, on the, re on the show for 30 June 2009, 1 July 2009, Anno Domini, Evangelii Secundum Ioane, <laughs> Deum de Deo, Lumen de Lumine, for the greater glory of the Lord and for our perseverance to do good for the Lord. Oh, yes, good. Uh, the show was excellent tonight. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. It was um, very good. It was very offbeat. It um, showed the rain, oh, the, the rains that they had up there four, five, six, seven times a night, or a day, I should say. Yeah. You're fast, Seven inches. and uh, which was in there for 24 hours from, I believe it was 30 July, uh, 30 June 2009, Anno Domini, to 1 July 2009, Anno Domini. The rain was very heavy. I saw it dot com, and uh, you went outside to pick up the mail and the road and several of the cars going by and uh, the different views from north, south, and I believe it was east. And very, very heavy rains, but the, at night it was a beautiful moon and uh, the next uh, the next day was, was just, just gorgeous. Well, okay, I guess that should do it. Thank you very much and you have a good night and we shall pray 
pray for the pray for the world. You take care and have a good night. Thank you. You are a prayer, Joseph Cronin. Thank message, you. Press one. Hello, this is To play your greeting, press one. To re-record your greeting, press two. To delete this greeting, press three. Hi folks, a man called up the editor of the newspaper and said, you put my name in the obituary column, I'm still alive. The editor was truly contrite. He thought and thought. He says, I know, tomorrow we can remedy this. Tomorrow we can put you in the birth column. To play your greeting. Hey Glendora, I'm Dr. Walt here. I'm still trying to get back to you. Um, I guess cell phone, 222-9837. Bye. Uh, Dr. Walla McConnell is coming here, folks, to meet you. And he wants to tell you about money-driven medicine. Things should not cost what they cost. When Jesus Christ healed the leper, when Jesus Christ healed the centurion servant, and when Jesus Christ healed Peter's mother-in-law, did he charge anything for that? And when he healed the leper, did he charge anything for that? And did, when he healed the man of the palsy, did he charge anything for that? How about the woman who had the blood? Uh, emission for 12 years and he healed her. Did he charge anything for that? No. That's the way medicine should be. Can you imagine anything more uh, detestable than preying on sick people, taking everything they have? So Dr. Walt McConnell, I hope I will be able to keep myself quiet while he talks to you about it because he's the one who knows. The doctor said I have bad news and very bad news. And the patient says, well, what's the bad news? The doctor says, you have two days to live. And the patient says, well, what's the very bad news? And the doctor said, no, I forgot to tell you yesterday. It's a nice picture when we're all sleeping so peacefully and in security. It's the Sabbath. The Sabbath is the same as being in the presence of God. But there's no labor on the Sabbath. In the presence of God you can labor and be in the presence of God. Your time of labor is the same as your time of prayer when you're in the presence of God.
I said, I thought you were lonesome. And Ed said, well, God, why did you make her so beautiful? And God says, so you would like her. And Ed says, well, God, why did you make her so dumb? And God said, so she would like you. <laughs> this uh, Baptist minister would go see his flock uh, every week, and he said, Farmer John, I haven't seen you in church for a long time. And Farmer John says, well, I don't have any good clothes. I just got my farming gear. I don't want to go to church in my farming gear. And the Baptist minister says, oh, we can remedy that. And uh, the next Wednesday, the Baptist minister brought the farmer a lovely outfit. But come Sunday, Farmer John is not in church. And the Baptist minister says, Farmer John, I am astounded you were not in church last Sunday. And Farmer John says, those clothes you gave me were so nice, I thought I could go to the Episcopal Church. <laughs> last story I have for you is that this church had a Bible selling contest, and the man who sold the most Bibles started. He started badly. And so all the parishioners said, what did you say to sell the most Bibles? He said, I, 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 I just, just, just said, do, 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 do you, you, you want, want, want to buy, buy, buy a, 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 a Bible, or, or do you want me to read it to you? <laughs> Same as your time of prayer when you're in the presence of God. Thank you. Thank you very much. He got away. The trap opened and he went down north and into mid glasses and then that way and he was going toward route 9 he got away we're so dumb we are so dumb the only time was the third Sunday in August and here it was the third Sunday in September we got away and even then, that may not work. I am so sorry. I am just so sorry. It's best to go to work and try to find success somewhere else. This is Magic Jack. You can talk anywhere in the United States and Canada as long as you want. It's only twenty dollars a year. This little piece costs about twenty five. It actually works. Here, you want to hear the dial tone? And watch, we'll call Andy. This is in Long Island, 631. Wouldn't you know I'd do it wrong. There's a dial tone. ringing it's 
going to ring a long time because the last time I dialed his message box was full. I'm just showing you that it works. I can show you that it works on this phone, I think. Mailbox full, goodbye. So hang up. One. No, it's not working. Nothing ever works for me when I try to demonstrate it on TV, nothing. It's working, folks. You can hear it ringing here. You can hear it ringing here. Now, I could sit here all day at the computer and make all my telephone calls. I make about 50 a day. And when the computer is shut off, the computer will act as an answering machine. It will answer the calls. Did you notice it shut off? And then when I picked it up and got the dial tone again, it came back on. I'm so sorry, everybody, that I made such an awful mistake. Did you hear about the woman who nicknamed her son Hallie's Comet? Hallie's Comet? He came around once every 73 years. Worship this morning at Stuyvesant Falls, that there will be no worship next Sunday at Stuyvesant Falls. Instead, the worship at St. Luke's will be a joint service for the two congregations because we won't have a pastor and we won't have an organist. So we will be having a 10 o'clock service at St. Luke's in Palatia. Let's rejoice and, and be glad in it. And be glad in it. it. Oh, this, this is, is the day that the Lord, Lord has made. time mit gusto <laughs> this is the day this is the day that the lord has made that the lord has made let us rejoice let us rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it oh this is the day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it this is the day this is the day that the lord over will be the Alleluia's and Cal and over here will be the praise of the Lord's. Alright? And please stand if you're able. Okay, Alleluia's. We're beginning. Ready? Here we go. Of the Gospel according to St. John. Jesus continues his discourse. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, 
So whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Take a look, open your 